Hello, dear ones. I've been working with spells to, Christian spells to free uh, people from demons that uh, have been bound to them, which is a very unchristian thing to do. So I'm using Christian prayer technology to counteract that uh, innately evil action. I'm sure you've read in a past blog about my, my first uh, experience of freeing the demons that were bound to me by a black magic cult. And, uh, and as you may recall, it went like this. Speaking from myself to the demons, it, I said, you are free, go where you will. And they all went off in a, in a flap and a flurry. <laughs> and back to the person that had done the work. And I could hear her carrying on and like that on the, on the astral plane. And that was the end of it. They never tried to do that again. So today I have a further uh, like technique, an additional technique for you. And this is when a person uh, is bound in such a way that they have difficulty staying free after the demons are free. And I'm using the, um, this, uh, the sign of the cross that in, Christian, in Christian terms to help with this. It goes like this. Visualizing the entities that have been attached to someone else, you say. I send you back, this is the entities, I send you back to the one that sent you here. May you stay with them until they repent and forgive. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I've discovered one more thing to do, and that is for the person that has been um, has been bound down to the demon world. Here's what you can do. This is a prayer you can say, whether or not they are close to you. You say, "May you be freed of these evil influences and these wicked deeds. May your soul be completely restored to splendor, and your heart to the grace of God's love." Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.